Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we are taking a look at a package in the Unity Asset Store called City Subway Tunnel. Now, for full transparency, I have not received any money for this review. It is a completely independent review. However, a review code was provided by the creator. Now, initially, what I liked about this, before I'd even looked at it in scene view, game view, whatever, the images. The images portray to me a very refined and detailed asset. And that is exactly what we get here. So if we head to the scene view, when we actually have it imported, we are, I, I love the scene. Obviously, we have a scene here. It's already pre-made. I love pre-made scenes. I'm not going to lie. So uh, without post-processing, it still looks fairly decent. Now, I have made a couple of minor modifications to this. Um, just for my own, you know, playing around, seeing what I can do with it. And I have to say that even without post-processing, you can see the detail and quality actually made within each little section of this particular asset. It even says on the, on the uh, asset page that each asset was created for realistic AAA quality visuals, style and budget. And yes, I can absolutely see how this can be manipulated to be part of a AAA video game. So if you were making something like a, a Metro kind of clone, you, this is absolutely fantastic. Could you imagine a subway speeding down here, a subway train speeding down there? That would look absolutely epic and do you know what i think i'm actually going to do that for my own you know playground as it were you just have to look at it and see that the quality is there without even post processing and that is why i like it like i say the scene has like the reflection the reflection probes built in it's got the lighting it's got everything set up now quantity wise the package does let itself down just a little bit i don't it's not that I don't feel there's enough because quality wise more than makes up for the quantity but you just have to keep in mind that the price for this package is 58 euros which I believe is probably about 60 dollars maybe a, a dollar or two more I'm not 100 percent sure but just keep in mind the price tag and the size of the package which is 550 megabytes it's a fairly decent size considering what we get here just be mindful if you're on slow connections but like I say uh, quantity wise there is plenty to actually deal with here you could make more than just a subway tunnel with the contents of this package especially if you want to make like I say, something, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of something you'd see in Fallout 3 underground, you know, something like that. Uh, but I, I think it's quite fitting for a Metro game. So it is very easy to use, as I've said, uh, because I've modified things in this very, very easily. For example, we could take little bits and pieces, change the materials, you know, add a good old uh, intensity to the normal map there. I don't know what that's going to look like in the game view, but hey, it might look kind of cool. Uh, I mean, you could take the tracks there take that and turn it to albedo alpha and increase normal map i guess just see what it looks like so it is very customizable and i like that i like how we could actually interpret this to be one straight tunnel it looks like it's going to be perfect for cutscenes. in fact i know this is going to be perfect for high quality cutscenes. and like i said it all comes down to the post processing so I have applied a post-processing uh, profile to the camera. I've also given it a little animation just so we can see visually how it looks. But if we add post-processing to it, that is how it looks. Now, to me, that looks perfect for like a cutscene. Could you imagine the camera panning down here and then a subway train hurtling towards you with the sound, the effects, the atmosphere? I think that would be really kind of cool. So if I press play now... This is, like I say, I always apply my own post-processing profiles to things just because I, I like doing, I like filling around with that kind of thing. And as you can see here, the quality does translate. It looks like a gruesome, dreary, wet, kind of horrible, gritty subway place that you'd expect to be. The only reason it looks like it's wet up there is because I've made it like that. I've changed, uh, like, well... Like I said, I've made it more versatile in my own way. I've made it more customizable in my own way. And that is exactly what you should be doing with these assets. You can make them exactly how you want them to be. Now, I kind of like how that looks. I'm not going to lie. I do like that. I could see that being used in one of my games. So its usefulness 
is quite possibly endless. I mean, obviously, this is no good for if you're creating something like Skyrim or something, I don't know. But if not, th th this if you're creating a gritty, gruesome kind of game, it's going to be really useful. The folder layout is incredibly neat and tidy, and I do like that. We've got all of these here. Um, if you import the package, you may see some of these prefabs do come up pink. Don't worry about that. All I had to do was just change the original materials. Not 100% sure why they came in like that. I don't think it's too worrisome, to be honest. But all it is, in the materials, you may just need to set them to a different shader. That's all. That is, that's all it is. You may not have the shader supported in your uh, particular Unity engine, but, but hey, it, it doesn't really matter too much. Even with the standard shade, this is all done with just the standard shader. If you went you know, if you you wrote your own shader and made this look even better, there's just there's just endless possibilities for you here with this absolute pure quality. So, like I said, um, it is absolutely gorgeous to me. I love how this looks. There isn't a whole lot of content here, but the quality of the content more than makes up for that. It's easy to use, it's modular as well, which means you can develop this however you want or need to. You can have sections repeated or just not have any sections at all. And you could you know, divide this into different sections and pull them off into different scenes and all that kind of thing. So the customizability is incredibly high. Now, you guys know I don't rate assets, but I like to either recommend them or not recommend them. And this one's a bit of a tricky one, I'll be honest. So I would recommend it, if you're creating that style of game. However, just be mindful of that price tag. That price tag does seem a little high to me. It does seem just a little high for what you get, but don't forget the quality is at least close to triple A. I mean, there's games out there today which don't even look as good as this. Not at all. Just as a, a quick recap on that, if you're changing like the concrete wall, for example, change it to albedo, reduce the smoothness and you could see something completely different like that that is how easy it is to use and create your own style and that is why i like this asset so yes i would recommend it if you do have the money and if you are looking to create a top quality game however if you're new to unity maybe just take a look around unity first get to grips with it and realize what you're trying to make before you make that dive now, I, as a developer who I've been working for many years with this kind of thing, if I was looking for a game which I was making and I was looking to make it really, you know, really swanky, really high quality, uh, if I was within a team perhaps, then yes, I think this asset would be well suited to uh, anything we would make. So yes, I would recommend it to those sorts of people as well. So guys, if you've used this asset yourself, please let me know in the comments. Tell me what you think of it. Um, if you've got anything on the asset store yourself and you perhaps want to, you know, show it off, uh, you want to want me to review it, whether it's free, whether it's paid, you know, get in touch. I'm more than happy to take a look. And don't forget to click subscribe and click the bell icon as well to stay up to date with everything I have about game development on my channel because without me, you may miss something like this, something really, really cool for your game. Guys, thank you very much for watching.